What's going on guys, it's Isaac. Today, I'm uh, doing something a little bit different. I'm working on a motorized bicycle. This is from fatmoto.com and uh, they sent me a new 2022. It's right there in the box right there. Oh yeah, I got my brother here too. Say hey Jason. How you doing? So this is the new 2022 Fatmoto All-Terrain. It comes with a seven-speed Shimano shifter on it, so it's 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 not a shifter for the engine. It's actually a shifter for the pedals, so the driver of the bike can pedal more efficiently, more comfortably. Uh, I think it's a great upgrade on this bike, and uh, we're going to show you how it works. Also, there's going to be a uh, video edit there's also going to be a uh, uh like a detailed like shifter adjustment on on different channel so or a separate separate video whatever uh maybe in a, a link in the description we'll see i think it's it's going to be on all out bikes yeah, yeah. it's going to be on all out bikes so wow it's really raining out there so anyhow, let's uh, get this unboxing taken care of. I can't wait to see this thing. I think it's supposed to be green. It is? Yes, so let's get this thing unboxed. It's a box inside of a box. Oh, nice. Okay, this is definitely Upside the fat, fat tire. Got a rack. Harbor Freight knife, ten bucks. Is it? Yeah. It's actually a pretty nice knife. For ten bucks, yeah. So the bike is almost complete, but we've got to uh, show you how to seat the tires on these fat tire bikes. Oh, what would you call them? Fat tires? Yeah. 
Which is something like that. Anyhow, uh, pretty much all fat tire bikes have a problem with the tire seating, right? Not all of them. But Not all of them, are, but are pretty tight. But a, a, a lot of them do have the problem. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, show them what we got here. Uh, got a little bit of a hop, hop there. That way, if you were to ride that thing on the road doing like 20 something miles per hour, it would it would show up pretty good. Uh, so we're going to show you how to use some soap, or in this case, some shampoo, and put it on the soap on the bead of the tire and throw some extra air in it. It might not even require extra air, so we'll, we'll find out on this one. Yeah. In the past, we've had to use extra air. Not much. But. Yeah. So uh, the thing you do is you let the air out of the tire where you can pull in on the tire and we can add some of the soap. It's about to get a little messy. Oh yeah. But the nice thing is with the soap. It smells good. It <laughs> smells good, but also it just rinses it's clean. off. It's clean. Dandruff free. Is that dandruff shampoo? No, it's not dandruff shampoo. It does have conditioner. All it right, have... so we're gonna get some of this soap and we're going to put it onto the bead of the of the tire you need to get it in there good and deep and and you can be pretty generous right yes you know we don't you know the first water you go through it's going to be washing off you know bro this uh smells pretty good i know that's some uh good stuff So uh, a lot of soaps that you can use is like Dawn, uh, any, any, any liquid soap yeah. works great. And uh, yep. and uh, what you got to do is you got to put a little bit of air in it until it starts to air up and then you check the bead. Check all around. Try not to let the valve go crooked. Yeah. And some still it's still yeah, in yeah, there. Yeah, still in there. So, uh, so uh, what we're looking for is there's a little line right there. It's, it's a, a seam, just like right there, just like right there, but it's right at the rim. And and I see it right there, yeah, so keep but it's missing on. right there. So go ahead, bro. Oh, it's starting. It's, there it is. Okay. Beautiful. All right. And then uh, let's uh, check all around. Yep. And it's all out. So uh, <laughs> I think you went a little bit too generous with the shampoo. But the beautiful thing is, is the tire is seated now. It is seated. And the only real way to tell is to spin it. But let's clean that stuff off before spinning it because it's going to sling everywhere. I'll take the chance. I won't spin it very fast. Oh my gosh. So. That's so Oh, that's better. perfect. That is perfect, dude. Right. Yes. Good, now, good job. I just have to straighten this valve, but yeah. you see how it's done. Yeah. All right. Let's finish this bike. All right, man. All right. So now we're going to install the tire. Okay. It does not work well with the liquid Loctite though. 
Right. What do you think of the color on this bike, bro? I like it. It needs a uh, it needs a flat white star on there. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to be showing my brother making a video of the Shimano 7-speed adjustment. Yeah. So, if y'all want to see this video, and you're really good at, uh, like, speed adjustment and stuff, and with music, you can watch my video. But if you want a more detailed video, All Out Bikes... YouTube. on YouTube check him out if you want a detailed Shimano derailleur adjuster adjustment now on this Shimano seven speed thumb shifter it's very important that you uh, shift it properly on this shifter and just show the shifter here you've got a push button right here and a lever right here you want to make sure that as you're pedaling You're pushing the button to shift it down as you're pedaling. As not, you're pedaling. Not shifting while not pedaling. Correct. And push up on the lever to make it shift to an easier gear. Do not pull on this lever. If you pull on this lever, you will break this shifter. Okay. So push button, push lever. Do not pull the lever. A lot of people have broken the shifter because they pull on they that pull. lever. The old shifters, it was a push-pull design, uh -huh. and this looks just like that. It's not. It's a push button to shift down, push the lever to shift up. And you have to shift while pedaling. While pedaling. I've already unhooked this, okay. so it's I'm not hurting anything. I was about to call you out, but... You don't need to call me out on this, so... Uh, You're a professional. I am a professional. Don't necessarily do this at home. I thought that was the whole idea of doing this at home. Shut up. <laughs> All right, guys. So you do not forget. Make sure you do not forget to add some engine oil to this. Because they come with no oil in them. So here we go. ground to keep pouring it in until it starts coming out well that's what I usually do and, you and are there. I'm full All right. All right. Whoa. good god yeah it's okay if it's a hair bit full I like overfilling mine a little bit it'll be fine all right man gasoline and run we've got this thing gassed up Jason's doing a final adjustment to the seat. And then we're going to be ready for a ride. I still have to make some adjustments to the handlebar. Oh, you, handlebar, okay. All right, so little tiny adjustments. And then we'll be ready for a ride. All right, so the bike is all gassed up, ready to go. J Jason, how many pulls? I'm going to say two. I'm going to say one. One pull. So I'm hoping that's the choke. That's run. Gas is on. Let's do this. Dang it, Bobby. Dang it. Okay, so, all right, well, let's, uh, let's just go 
for a ride. Alright. See what happens. Forward ho! Alright, Jason, we're going to go to guys well as you can tell it's raining uh, it's raining inside the building too uh, it's a little bit too wet to go out there for a ride but uh, that's okay uh, I'll save it for uh, John's uh, riding out in the uh, beautiful beautiful fields he's got so uh, let's talk about this uh, clutch this is a upgraded clutch on this bike uh, they've been in the business for 117 years. 117 years, that's a long time to be in business. And, and made in USA. We can't forget that. It's You yeah. just don't see that much. So I, I can tell a difference. This clutch is like working real good. So it's, it's smooth, it's quiet, and uh, I can't wait to take this for a ride, but it'll be in this next shot now. So here we are out at the uh, at my buddy's house. Got Charles here, and uh, it is wintry here. So we're gonna give this fat bike tire, the Fat Moto All Terrain, uh, we're gonna give it a workout because of this icy snow uh, conditions. We're gonna see how it works, and I imagine the fat tire is the way to go in these conditions. So let's crank this thing up and give it a first test drive. Oh yeah, definitely. But I think that thing will just power right. Oh, there. absolutely. You know what? Could you get me a helmet? Yeah, that would be the safe thing to do. Better than nothing when you hold this while yeah. I put it on. I'll even keep my hat on. Oh, warm. Yeah. Oh man, I, I, I've got to get one of these bikes. They're cool. 79 cc's. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, it says all terrain on it. Yeah. Just to give you guys a reference, look how wide that rim is. Yeah, they weren't kidding about the extra wide tires for the all-terrain. I guess hence the name Fat Moto. No. No? No, they have a non-fat tire one. Oh, okay. Well, I was I, I stand corrected. Yep. But that's okay. I like the I like the big tires. It'll probably work great. Yeah. I wonder if it'll get a wheel. I like the pull string handle. <laughs> That's hilarious. Careful now. You want to take this yeah. with you?
right guys i guess that's it for this video the bike does great in the snow ice um i like the the seven speed uh on this thing it makes pedaling a lot easier so uh, it goes with ease so guys thank you for, for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up there will be more fat moto content so expect to see that in the future guys so thanks for watching i'll catch y'all later charles you got anything to say oh check me out on instagram at charles underscore 85c10 nice so catch y'all later